Hi everyone and welcome back and welcome to another problem and this is again in react.js and you can see this is what we are going to build okay it's partially built we just need to add the few conditions we just need to define the state management logic so that uh, we should be able to solve this problem okay so let's uh, let's talk about this so what we have here is if you see this image you are understanding everything so there, there are random uh, tasks which you can move next 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 and whenever you are reaching to the end of your task list the next is disabled the previous is enabled when you are at the initial stage only next is enabled restart and previous is disabled right so in the whole application what is happening is the the status of these buttons are changing based on you click on next previous or restart and the text I mean whatever is your task list that is getting changed when you click on the previous and next so overall we just need to maintain one active index which can track what is your active task and based on the active task index we need to decide okay should we show next button previous button should we enable restart button disable restart button all these things we are going to do okay so this these are our task i think in the index.js and you can see these are like five six tasks which we are passing to our app.js component and these slides are then further being passed to the slides component and here we are slides component so whatever you see dynamic in that image whatever the dynamic you are seeing just put that in the state okay like the next button enabled previous button enabled restart button enable all these things can be uh, put in the state and we are using functional component so we can just use a huge state for that so what all different state we are going to have so let's create a template and here we have huge state so this can be used for active slide number active slide number for this setter will be set active slide number right similarly we need a uh, different setters another can be the current slide set current slide current slide will be i mean by default we are slowing showing slide zero slides object we are getting in the props so zeroth index put that in the current slide now all this is about disable previous so we can say set disable previous and by default we can just either enable or disable them so there will be a two more buttons disable previous disable restart Okay, and then previous we have next because these buttons are changing things on the UI. Right, by default, true, false, true. Next will be false, previous will be enabled, and restart is enabled. Okay, now let's say you are clicking on to the next, on click next. What should happen? So currently, this is the current slide and from the current slide we are showing title and next. Now there is a button on click next, const on click next, our arrow function and what we are doing here is, we are writing some logic, right? So our current slide, I mean uh, current slide number, current slide number is Active slide number okay so we create a temporary variable for it and now if our current slide if our current slide is less than slides length right because there may be there are like five slides until unless we are satisfying this condition we can keep increasing 
the current slide number and set current slide number set active slide number will be the next slide set active slide number will be a uh, current slide number if we just look at this logic and then set current slide current slide will be the the slide with the next index right you clicked on next button that means you should just move to the next uh, slide that's it and set previous now we need to enable disable set disable previous false because now previous will be enabled set disable restart restart is enabled because now you are on the next task right so after this if you reach to the last slide this is also the condition if your current slide number here it is current slide number if your current slide number is equal equal to the length slides dot length minus one that means both are equal then we have to disable next set disable next to true because we can't move forward now this is on the next right now let's talk about the previous logic when you click on the previous button it's also on click previous what we are going to do here is we just need to check that current slide should be greater than zero it's like we are traversing array from last two until the index is greater than zero right so current slide is greater than zero current slide minus minus whenever you click on to this this is on click previous okay and here the same thing set active slide number set current slide number set disable next because what is happening if this becomes true we will set set disable next to false and if your whenever you are doing a previous 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 if your index becomes zero and what you will do is set disable previous to false because we can't go further you are already on the zeroth index and set disable restart that will also be true because now you actually indirectly reset everything right same thing uh, when you click on to the restart this will be a little different restart means you are resetting everything on click restart so what we are doing is uh, we'll use these things only set active uh, slide number set active slide number will be zero set current slide will be slides of zero and here set disable previous set disable next is false you can move false you can move forward set disable previous is true because you can't go backward and set disable restart is also true i mean simple logic move forward backward or you just restart reset everything right now we can just add uh, disable properties here on all these buttons and this depends on these properties like disable restart similarly we can add here disable disable next disable previous 
okay so this is about this particular problem okay so i mean this is like a plain and simple logic we didn't write any custom logic it's just about understanding the problem and then just writing the code either you are writing a functional component or either you are writing a class based component this is simple and this image is giving you everything if you are not even reading restart means disable uh, whenever you click you go to restart what is happening disable only next is enabled when you click on next previous is enabled restart is enabled when you click on previous all these things are there okay so this is all about i will also push these code snippets down to github but these are like some cool and nice exercise to uh, keep up with the different frameworks